welcome dear friends uh, am i audible and whether the white board is seen to you please respond in the questions column am i audible and whether you are able to see the white board uh, yeah thank you thank you tejas whether the white board is seen tejas okay they just all right all right i am sharing the white board now now whether you are able to see the white board vedant sushant maheshwari okay yuvraj thank you okay thank you thank you thank you very much uh, we would be solving uh, one more numerical on entropy change and this would give you an better insight about what this entropy change tells you okay so you take down the numerical i am uh, dictating it and also i would be writing on the board okay so write down the numerical 1 kg of water 1 kg of water at 1 kg of water now 1 kg of water at 0 degree centigrade is brought into contact brought into contact with a source with a heat reservoir with the source that is a heat reservoir which is at 100 degree centigrade okay when when the water reaches when the water reaches 100 degree centigrade estimate or find find the entropy change entropy change of water of source and and of and of the universe okay and of the universe so based on the concepts which we discussed in the last lecture okay try to solve this okay i will be discussing with shortly okay so how will you approach this problem uh, there is water okay uh, it is not ice mind well it is water it is not ice it is water at 0 degree centigrade and there is a source there is a source which is at 100 degree centigrade so obviously there would be a heat transfer there would be a heat transfer from the source to the water so this is after before and after means finally what we'll have is finally what we'll have is the water which is at 100 degree centigrade okay in equilibrium with the source which is at 100 degree centigrade so the heat transfer now stops okay so you need to find you need to find the entropy change of water during the heat transfer you need to find the entropy change of source entropy change of source during the heat transfer and you need to find the entropy change of the universe which would nothing but it would be nothing but the entropy generation 
because of irreversible heat transfer because of irreversible heat transfer okay so calculate this and tell me the answer so i hope you have copied down the question and i am uh, now erasing the question okay uh, in order to solve this okay so let me erase this i hope you have copied down the question the water which was at 0 degree centigrade is brought in contact with the source which is at 100 degree centigrade okay uh, what happens is the water would be gradually heated okay we are not talking about ice mind well uh, we are talking about water and we are talking about only sensible heating of the water okay we are not talking about the phase change also here so the water is sensibly heated because of its contact with the source uh, which is at 100 degree centigrade and as a result of which the water would finally reach a temperature of 100 degree centigrade so during this heat transfer phenomena during this heat transfer phenomena we are interested in knowing how much has the entropy of the water changed how much has the entropy of the source changed and how much is the entropy generation or what is the entropy change of the universe in this process of heat transfer okay so let me first calculate uh, the entropy change of water let me first calculate the entropy change of water okay so before i this so i got this i am now to calculate the entropy change of water okay so let me raise this yeah so you see here that you see here that the entropy change of water as we had calculated in earlier problems uh, is integral of del q by t del q by t and the temperature changes from 0 degree centigrade which is 0 plus 273 kelvin to finally is a temperature of 100 degree centigrade so 100 plus 273 so this would be the entropy change of this is how you will have to calculate the entropy change of water m because it's sensible heating so del q will be mcp dt because it's sensible heating mcp dt upon t from 273 to 373 what would happen to the entropy of water whether it will increase or decrease obviously the entropy of water would increase okay because heat is transferred to water so this would be m c p l n t2 by t1 that is 373 by 273 mass is 1 kg of water specific heat of water you know it is 4.187 kilojoules per kg kelvin this is a specific heat of water okay from this you will get the entropy change so tell me the answer for this tell me the answer for this how much is the entropy change of water yuvraj vedant sushant tejas mohan sanket gargi kevin kunal patil darshan ananta anish pritam roy akanksha tell me some answer anybody has got the answer so the answer is yes correct tejas has got it sushant has got it correct uh, tejas has also got it correct so the answer is plus plus 1.305 or 306 whatever okay plus 1.306 kilojoules 
per kelvin per kelvin this is the entropy change of water right now find now find the entropy change of the source now entropy change of the source would be integral of del q by t and you know the concept of source a source is a reservoir whose temperature remains constant so i can take the temperature outside the integral so this is nothing but q upon t and i will put a negative sign over here negative because the heat is lost by the reservoir uh, source and hence the entropy of the source is going to decrease so entropy would decrease would decrease because the heat is lost okay so hence i am putting a negative sign so i am putting a negative sign over here so it is minus q upon t okay so calculate this for that you need to calculate the heat transfer so how will you calculate the heat transfer the heat lost by the source heat lost by the source how will you calculate that how will you calculate the heat lost by the source this q how will you calculate this anybody has the answer how will you calculate this heat lost by the source heat lost by the source yeah correct sushant it's correct heat lost by the source is the no no, no not heat gain by surrounding heat lost by the source is the heat gain by the uh, water is equal to the heat gained by water okay heat lost by source is heat gained by water heat gained by water is mass of water specific heat of water and temperature difference of water so temperature difference is 100 minus 0 100 minus 0 mass of water is how much mass of water is 1 mass of water is 1 kg specific heat of water you know it is 4 0.187 so 1 into 4.187 into 100 so the heat transfer value this q value this q value by calculating it as mcp delta mcp delta comes as 418.7 kJ so once you get this value as 4. 418.7 you calculate now the entropy change of the source calculate the entropy change of the source now and tell me the value it would obviously be negative entropy change of the source would be negative so tell me the value of entropy change of the source that is the reservoir entropy change of the reservoir is what entropy change by the reservoir is what anybody has the answer so you need to be clear that this t this t is the temperature of the source okay which is obviously 373 kelvin so 373 kelvin so minus 418.7 upon 373 so that comes as minus 1.122 check this answer <laughs> So, are you getting this? Are you getting this value? Okay, correct. You got that? You are correct. It is minus one point one two two unit is kilojoules per kelvin. Kilojoules per kelvin. Now you find the entropy change of the universe. 
to find the entropy change of the universe. That is the entropy generation during this heat transfer process. Find the entropy generation during the heat transfer process. That is the entropy change of the universe. How will you find that? So it's simply a summation of entropy change of water and entropy change of source. Okay. And you'll see that you'll get a positive value. You'll get a positive value, which means that the entropy generated in the universe. And why is that generated? It has generated because of irreversible heat transfer. It has generated because of irreversible heat transfer. Okay. So what is the value you are getting now? Entropy change of the universe. So entropy change. So let me erase this now. Let me erase this. So the entropy change of the universe is the entropy change of the source plus entropy change of the water. Entropy change of the source plus entropy change of the water. Okay. So entropy change of the universe is equal to entropy change of the source plus entropy change of the water and what was the entropy change of the source the entropy change of the source is minus 1.122 and the entropy change of water is how much 1.306 which comes as point approximately 0.183 kilojoules per kelvin which is which is the quantification of because of this is because of because of irreversible heat transfer because of irreversible heat transfer okay now the interesting part would follow this is okay you had already known this calculations now that is not very interesting uh, now we would be trying to reduce okay we would be trying to reduce the irreversibilities okay uh, how we will be reducing this irreversibilities let us see okay so now again we would consider the part two of the problem uh, our aim is the same what is our aim our aim is to heat the water from zero degree centigrade 200 degree centigrade right but now what i'm going to do uh, before that let me ask you whether you have copied down this thing this new uh, this first part of the numerical is clear to you and you have copied down this numerical the solution of it yes or no before i proceed i want you to confirm that you have copied down this numerical and uh, you have understood this first part uh, please let me know that whether you have really followed this okay i'm not getting your responses maybe because of network issues uh, but i will assume that you have followed the first part of uh, the numerical okay uh, somebody can put it in the chat box chat box you can put your message saying that you have followed and uh, it is copied some someone of you and you put something in the chat box Okay, whatever. Uh, so let me let me move to the next part of the question. I am erasing this now. I am erasing this now, and I am considering a very interesting kind of uh, stuff. Wherein uh, my attempt would be to reduce this irreversibility. Okay, my attempt is now to reduce this irreversibility. So how I plan to do now is, so my aim was to heat the water. Heat the. I, I want to. Uh, what I want to do is that the water, 
which is at 0 degree centigrade and I want to heat it to water at 100 degree centigrade and for that uh, what I, I did was earlier I brought it in contact with the source. Okay. Now case 2 what I will be doing is that I will take this water which is at 0 degree centigrade and bring it in contact with the source which will be at let us say 50 degree centigrade. Okay, so what will happen is that in this step one, step one, what we'll get is that we'll get the water now. Water would heat up to water would heat up to 50 degree centigrade. Okay, then in step two, step two, what I will do is that I will take this water which is at 50 degree centigrade. Okay, and I'll bring it in contact with the source now. But now this source is at 100 degree centigrade. Source is now at 100 degree centigrade. Okay, so instead of instead, of, what was case one? Case one was that you brought the water in contact with the source at 100 degree centigrade. So case one was a one step, one step heat addition, one step heat addition, okay, where the maximum delta T, where the maximum delta T was 100 degree centigrade, delta T between source and water was 100 degree centigrade. In step two, what I'm doing is that I am reducing this delta T between source and water to one of the original delta T. So this delta T now is 50 degree centigrade. It means that there is some delta T between the source and water, but that delta T is now significantly smaller. Okay, it is now 50 degree centigrade. Now what happens to the because of this two step heat addition process, the heat addition quantity remains the same, which you would now calculate and convince yourself. But you would find that the entropy change of the universe has decreased. Okay, you calculate this now, you calculate the entropy change in case two. Case two, calculate entropy change, calculate entropy change of source. Calculate entropy change of water and calculate the entropy change that is the entropy generation, entropy change of universe. That is the entropy generation. So the entropy change of source and entropy change of reservoir you need to now find out. Okay. So what would be the entropy change of water? The entropy change of water and entropy change of source. So entropy change of source would be delta S of source 1 plus delta S of source 2. So delta S, this is source 1, this is source 2. Okay. Delta S of source 1 and delta S of source 2. What is delta S of source 1? Delta S of source 1 would be Q1 by T. Q1 by T, right? And this is minus, okay? So what is this T in this source 1 T? Source 1 T, source 1 T is 50 plus 273. 50 plus 273. And what is Q1? Q1 is mass into specific heat to delta T. Means 1 into 4.187 into 50 minus 0. So Q1 is Q1 is 1 into 4.187 
into 50 minus 0. And what is T? T is 50 plus 273. That is the temperature of the source 1. Temperature of the source 1. So this if you calculate, this if you calculate, you will get, this will get the value as minus 0.647 kilojoules per Kelvin. Similarly, similarly, the value of entropy change of source 2 would be minus Q2. Now let me call this as source 1 temperature upon the temperature of source 2. So what is Q2? Q2 will be minus of 1 into 4.187 into 100 minus 50. Okay, the temperature of the water changes from 50 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade. Okay, upon T, what is the T here? So T here is now 100 degrees centigrade. So 100 plus 273. So this, if you solve, you should get it as minus 0.56 kilojoules per Kelvin. Okay. And the addition of this two, you tell me the addition, do the addition and tell me the entropy change of the source. Do the addition and tell me the entropy change of the source here. What is the value you are getting here? Entropy change of the source. Yuraj, Yugandara, anybody? Tejas, Vedant, Sushant, Shubham Hande, Sankit Zado, Mohan, Neha Aire, Maheshwari. Anybody you can tell me the answer? So the answer is, so the answer is the entropy change, the entropy change of the source is, it is Point six four seven plus point five six. Okay, so you need to calculate it and see for yourself. And then entropy change of water. What would be entropy change of water? Entropy change of water would be the same. Okay, and how it would be same? You can convince yourself by calculating that entropy change of water would be the same. But how to calculate that? It would be again delta S of water one plus delta S of water 2. Okay. Now, delta S of water 1 is what? Let me write down here. This. Uh, delta S of water 1 means your first step of the case 2. First step of the case 2. So, this when you are heating the water from 0 degree centigrade to 50 degree centigrade, that delta S of water 1 is integral of FCP dt upon T from 0, that is 0 plus 273 to 50 plus 273. And delta S of water in the second step step 2 when you are heating the water from 50 degree centigrade up to 100 degree centigrade would be 50 plus 273 mcp dt by t okay so if you add this two delta s1 and delta s2 okay you can solve this and you will find that you will get the same value that is 1.305 kilojoules per Kelvin. Kilojoules per Kelvin. And then if you do the, let me use some other pen now. 
phase two entropy change of the universe is delta s of source one source plus delta s of source second plus the entropy change of water which is 1.3 not 5 and change of water okay uh, in uh, addition of the two that is w uh, this is actually delta s w1 plus delta s w2 okay so all this sub if you put the values here this is uh, minus 0.647 and this is uh, minus 0.56 Okay, and this is 1.305. What you'll get is you'll get the value as minus 0 0.098 per Kelvin. Okay, I hope that you have got this calculation. Now, what is important is not this value, how you get the value. You should calculate this and convince yourself that you'll get this number. But numbers are not important. What I want to tell you is, uh, is a more interesting part, which would be followed by these numbers. Okay. So whether your calculations are correct, you understood these calculations? Yes or no? Tell me whether you have followed this. Okay, Yugandara. Yuraj, have you followed this? Okay. I'm not sure, maybe that this questions have a limit of responses. So it could be that all the responses are now already full okay the question box might be full that could be the reason why i'm not getting your answers okay whatever so uh, assuming that using a blind approach i'm, I'm assuming that uh, you have understood the steps okay now let me look i will now explain this problem from a conceptual angle okay so i'll be erasing the entire thing and i would be explaining you the problem from a conceptual perspective okay so let me erase this uh, let me erase this entire thing So I'm clearing the canvas and now let me discuss the conceptual feature of this problem. So what was the problem? The problem was there is a water which is at zero degree centigrade and this water was to be heated up to 100 degree centigrade. Heated up to 100 degree centigrade. So in the case one, case one scenario one of the problem what was done that this heating was done irreversibly from by bringing the source in contact with the water and this source was at 100 degree centigrade so this delta t between the source that is source temperature and the water temperature was initially 100 degree centigrade okay and gradually it decreased obviously right so this because of this finite temperature difference because of this finite temperature difference which is considerable which is 100 degree centigrade we already know that this heat transfer phenomena is an irreversible heat transfer phenomena okay so when we calculated and this we quantified by calculating the entropy change of the universe that is the entropy generated so entropy change of the universe you got in the case one as 0.183 kilojoules per kelvin okay 
So this, the meaning of this value being 0.183, which is positive value, the meaning is that this process is irreversible. This process is irreversible. And as I had explained in the yesterday's lecture, if we reduce this, okay, if we reduce this value, then the irreversibility is reduced. Then the irreversibility is reduced. Okay. So how did we reduce the irreversibility? So what we did was in the case two, in order to reduce the irreversibility, I planned the heat addition in two steps. Okay. So what I did was that. I maintained the temperature difference instead of 100 degree centigrade. I maintained the temperature difference as 50 degree centigrade. So first I brought the water in contact with the source, which is at 50 degree centigrade. And then this was a step one. And in the step two, I brought, so this water was zero degree centigrade. It became finally, it came to, it heated up to 50 degree centigrade. It 50 degrees centigrade, not more than that, because the source is at 50 degrees centigrade. Then in the step two, what you did was, you took this water, you took this water, which was now heated up to 50 degrees centigrade, okay, and you brought this water in contact with the source. The source is now at 100 degrees centigrade, okay. So now again, there was a heat transfer. Again, there was a heat transfer, and gradually, this water now at 100 degrees centigrade. So that was our objective finally. What is the objective? Objective is to heat the water up to 100 degrees centigrade. So in the case one also we had achieved this. Case two also we had achieved this. And in both the cases, please note, in both the cases, the heat transfer is the same. In both the cases, the value of the heat transfer would be the same. Okay, if you calculate in both the cases, you'll find that the total heat transfer, that is in this case, Heat transfer of 4.8.7 kilojoules. In this case also, this is this is Q1 and this is Q2. So in this case also, we find that the heat transfer remains the same. That is Q1 plus Q2 remains the same. That is 4.18.7. What changes? Then what changes is the irreversibility changes. Okay, with the delta T changes, right? So, if you see our calculations, so you will that the total change of the universe in the case 2. Okay, so initially it was 0.180, and in the case 2, you have got the value as 0.09. Okay, 9, what? 98, right? So, you look at these values. If you compare the value of entropy change in the case 1 and case 2, what you would find is that this entropy change of the universe has now been reduced. And why has this reduced? This has been reduced because irreversibility has been reduced. Okay. So we find that the irreversibility, the irreversible heat transfer has been reduced in the case two. Okay. So we are now progressing towards reversibility. So the irreversible heat transfer is reduced. And why is this irreversibility reduced? This is because the finite temperature difference has been reduced between the source and the water. If you do a thought exercise, wherein you have the water, which is at 0 degree centigrade, you bring this water in contact with now source, which is at 10 degree centigrade, then the water would reach to 10. This water, which is at 10 now, bring in contact with the source, which is at 20 degree centigrade, the water would get 20, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. Ultimately, you would be getting the water at, let us say, 90 degree centigrade, bring in contact with the source, which is at 100 degree centigrade. You will find that by the case 3 also, the heat transfer is the same, but the entropy change of the universe would be negligibly small. Okay, so. It, what it means is that, what it means is that, if you decrease, if you do the heat transfer in a manner such that the difference between the source temperature and that of the fluid which is taking that heat, if that difference is reduced gradually, okay, if that if difference is reduced, then or the finite temperature difference is reduced, it means that the irreversibility is reduced. And the beauty of 
the concept of entropy is that we can now quantify what is the irreversibility and you can show by numbers that the irreversible heat transfer has been reduced and this the proof is that the delta s of universe we will get the value as considerably smaller okay in an idealized case when there is no temperature difference there is negligibly small temperature difference between the water and the source right every time you heat that water you will find that the delta s of the universe is zero and then you can say that the heat transfer phenomena is reversible i hope you understood this concept well okay so uh, i want your responses if you understood this or you want me to repeat this i will because maybe i am getting the responses i would make one or two as a panelist and uh, we, that would help me in getting your feedbacks let me try making uh, yugandhara as a panelist yugandhara i made panelist uh, i am trying to make as a panelist and uh, maybe yugandhara and yuraj uh, can you now speak tejas maybe tejas i can make as a panelist tejas sanab if you are now able to communicate with me and the people whom i have made panelist you can communicate with me if you have a laptop maybe or my i don't know let me try somebody else also can you speak from your side anamta let me try anamta also i'm making her a panelist anamta then uh, you can see some numbers whatever kunal ranade i am making kunal as a panelist so there are so many panelists now can anybody speak from your side can you communicate from your side and tell me whether you have followed this concept or no Kunal, Tejas, Sundara, Yuraj, Anamta. None of you can communicate. Okay, let me unmute you. See, I am unmuted. All of you, able to communicate from your side. you just tell me whether that is i have muted all of you you can unmute from your side and if you have that facility you can communicate with me and explain me whether you are really followed the concept Gargi, Tushan, Kanade. All right. Uh, Madhesh Kare. Yeah, Rajesh is saying he has understood, but. Uh, Yeah, Sushant is saying he has understood. Sanket is also saying he has understood. So hopefully, okay, hopefully you understood the concept. And uh, in the next class, I would be using the uh, concepts which are shared uh, with you in the form of videos. Uh, yesterday, I shared with you two videos uh, prepared by Professor Murukkar. So in the next class, 
uh, we would be solving the uh, concepts we will be solving numericals based on those concepts right so i want you to uh, please uh, spend some time at home because it is important for you to spend some time okay without which it would be difficult for you to comprehend so please spend some time at home watch the videos okay and uh, come back prepared for the next class right so uh, have a good day uh, tomorrow is holiday so enjoy that holiday and um, come afresh in the next lecture of us okay so thanks for joining um, i i don't want you burden uh, with you uh, i don't want to burden you with one more problem okay uh, this problems are just a feature and let me tell you the problems are not very difficult okay in terms of solving it uh, what you need to appreciate is the concept right uh, putting the values and solving it is not a big deal in this kind of problems you need to appreciate what is happening there and then you need to use the correct expression for that that is the only the trick in this kind of problems so all the entropy change problems are very simple to solve okay mathematically speaking but conceptually speaking you need to understand and and also without understanding also you can solve it by remembering the formulas but then that won't make you really enjoy those concepts okay so if you want to really enjoy those concepts and if you want to really appreciate what is happening physically okay and what that numbers are telling you then you must you must look at it from the conceptual angle okay so thank you very much bye for now